Um, again, kind of doing the same thing. We can rewrite this as the tangent of 30 degrees minus the tangent of 45 degrees all over 1 plus the tangent of 30 degrees tangent of 45 degrees. Now it just comes into evaluating. So again, the tangent of 30 degrees, though, guys, is the square root of 3 over 3 minus tangent of 45 degrees is 1 all over 1 plus tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3 times 1. So I'm just using the unit circle. And again, I took the y coordinate over the x coordinates, and that's how I got square root of 3 over 3. I'll show it to you at the end. So now, you guys recognize there's kind of too many fractions here for my taste? Do you guys agree? Right? So I'm going to get rid of the fractions. What's the common denominator here? 3. So why don't you just multiply everything by 3? Therefore, you get square root of 3 minus 3 all over 3 plus square root of 3. Are those exactly the same? Are they close enough we could just divide things out and write negative 1? That's what you'd like to do, but you can't do that across addition and subtraction, right? So don't say, oh, those are those that, yeah, no, it doesn't do that. Um, you could try to factor out a negative and see if they're right, but they're not. So therefore, we need to get the radical off the denominator. The best way to do that is to multiply by the conjugate, which is rationalizing the radical. Now, this one is not a perfect square, so I'm actually just going to multiply this one out. So that one, I kind of did some math in my head. This one, I'll multiply it out for you. 3 times square root of 3 is 3 square root of 3. 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. Um, negative square root of 3 times positive square root of 3 is going to be a negative 3. And negative square root of 3 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 3 square root of 3. And then the denominator, though, the nice thing, again, guys, about rationalizing, that's going to give you the difference of two squares, right? So this is 9 minus 3. So let's simplify everything. These are both positive, so they can combine. This gives you a negative 12, right? Negative 12 plus 6 squared of 3 divided by negative 6. Divide the negative 6, distribute that into both of them. You get a positive 2 minus the square root of 3. Cool? Kind of?